general who just just throws out hits and will just punish you if you're not ready. Joker does have the advantage in the sp in speed and mobility stuff with the has projectiles with the gun and the eha, but this is a. Uh, <laughs> This is definitely going to go. This, this I, I honestly don't know who's going to win this. Now, it really just comes down to, you know, that momentum game, especially for Moon Lady, who we saw she was able to capitalize a lot the last time she was on our stream here in the KML tournaments uh, side with uh, Joker, you know, utilizing our sense of her advantage. Now, I feel like that's going to be a keen factor. However, we are also looking at Turtle King, who not only has is playing a powerhouse character in Incineroar, but the amount of revenges that we may be seeing from Turtle King's end, this could be any, yeah, it can go either way. It just really comes down to how you capitalize off of your strings. And right now, both these players showcasing what they're all about. And the quick revenge into side B. Now we'll be seeing Arsene come out. Hopefully Arsene will be a factor. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, where was your jump? Like, he's got the gravel back, but yeah, no. Early damage come out from Curdle King, and rightfully so, wanting to get this things off started and build the lead wherever you can. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And we're seeing Moon Lady once again excelling and using the Arsene to her advantage. Right there, we're still gonna see Arsene play a factor down down there into up smash. Not enough to take the stock yet. However, both these, uh, it seems like Turtle King is has the right options in terms of calling out with uh, the jumps, but he's mistiming these side Bs for the for for an optimal punish. Yep. Nice parry. Gonna get the drag down Ooh. into up smash. That is going to be first blood going in favor of Moon Lady. Really good there to get that where it wanted, where it mattered. I feel like with all that damage building up, it was only a matter of time for him. Cinderor just came in and bodied like he always does. Mm -hmm. But really good stuff for Moon Lady to being able to find that drag gun kill where it mattered. Oh my gosh. Oof. If Moon Lady was able to take away the jump with the gun, that could have been dire and very bad for Turtle King. However, gonna make it back to stage safely, but and still tacking on a good bit of damage is Moon Lady, 43% of extra credit dealt, and we could be seeing, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, we could be seeing Arsene come back into the, the board, but we're gonna have to wait a bit longer as the revenge call out right there into dash attack. Yep. Really good if Turtle King to re answer back there, being able to get in that push dash attack from Incineroar. So relatively even here, but Arsene is out and ready to be a threat. Really good spacing there, almost killing too. DI saving Turtle King for the moment. Oh, almost had another one gosh. ready, but the impact from the up B. We saw that from last time uh, Moon Lady was here on our stream. Uh, we were able to see that she loves to utilize that forward smash and get those call outs, and she's been connecting those now, but hopefully, um, you know, for the rest of the set, and, and it continues. Plays well. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of you've got a different recovery option as opposed to the character that she faced before. Yeah, no, so. for sure. But continue on Completely this rampage, animal, yeah. Completely literally and figuratively. All right, off stage. Going to be able to make it back to stage safely, respecting the the grab, um, the grab, ledge, ledge grab right there is Turtle King. And Turtle King needs a response. Now if they want to bring this back, nice up B to make it back to stage safely and get, regain stage control. Yep. Looking here, okay. Nice grab. Really good pummel to found it off too. Almost, but the snap the ledge there. Up throw? Yep. Dead. Up throw and back there uh, were, uh, were definitely killing. Turtle King trying to pick off where he left off here. De decent hits, but still in disadvantage. He's already to his advantage, <laughs> oh. but not before the back air. Sending him down there. It just seemed like everything that Turtle King planned to do throughout that whole game one was the callouts were there, but the timing was not for Turtle King. He wasn't able to get the hits that he needed to. And Moon Lady will be running away with that game one as, you know, as she should, you know, she was connecting all her hits and when good, needed. Yeah, good on her for being able to time that because he was, Turtle King was still kind of like in the middle of, um, that side B mm -hmm. where he was like barely falling. So timing was everything and it showed there. So 
Now we're gonna change to Smashville, where yeah, there we go. It's Saturday night. Now we've got a uh, we've got three warm music sources and KK <laughs> Slider himself joining the stream. Ooh, and we have a quick 51 coming out from Turtle King, who is a bit upset with how he played that game one, which is, it's understandable. Yep. But now you know. Like, now you know what to do. You have to, you know, slow down your gameplay a little bit. You have to wait for the opportunities to come in. Don't force them. Just wait for them to happen. However, with Arsene on the board, that could have been the stock. And they're wow. both able to make it back. But yeah, no, you've, uh, you were so close to bringing it back last game. And you've got a stage counter pick now that can serve as an effective death trap if you're able to make things work out here. But, Ooh. Uh, wow, nice. Nice little downer into up there, a down smash. Not a whole lot, of, not as much damage as she probably wanted, but she'll take it nonetheless, but not before the perfect Lariat takes a lead for Turtle King. All right, gonna build up a quick 26 and then some, trying to, you know, just evade having to deal with Arsene for too long, you know, or just deal with this stock for too long, really building up this lead. And this is where the stage- Nice use of Nair and mm -hmm. other aerials from Turtle King too, just making the use of the whole kit. This is now worse. He's a, he, he's, a, he's a little bit more in his element as we're starting to see. Nice. Oh, Tilt my attacks gosh. Tilt the with the rising Alolan whip. Okay, nice. This is where stage becomes a huge factor because now you have no room to work with. You're very limited on where you want to go. And, I mean, good good on Turtle King. I mean, this stage counter pick is definitely paying off. I thought he was just going to go for it all. I would not have been opposed to it. But There's probably a thought, but like, nah. You can't risk it. Yeah, no, you don't, you don't not, have that not much. In the, not in this point in bracket. Mm -hmm. there, there's uh, there's no room for error. You either make it or you don't. Okay, like the down sma uh, the four smash option right there from Moon Lady just barely missed timing, but we do have our set and we could be seeing a change of pace. Nice roll away into the dash attack, though. Really good use of shield there for... Oh! A rare mishap Man. where you get pineappled it by Smashville. That is definitely, you know... <laughs> and that was right on the fence, hurts. too. Yeah. So, but Turtle King just dominated most of that game and really good of him to even up. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to change the scenery, I imagine. Oh, no, yeah, you... Even though Joker yeah. does get a lot from Smashville killing a lot early because of how small the stage is, um, it, it really goes to show you that's in, that is an Incineroar stage in this case. Um, and Turtle King really showcasing that to us with uh, the early stocks in, you know, just keeping Moon Lady at the corner most of the time throughout that whole game. Yeah, we're definitely going to get, get a change of scenery. Um, hopefully one with platforms because that's exactly what Joker needs in this matchup. Right. I imagine, based on the song choice, we've got either Battlefield or Small Battlefield. Returning to the uh, finale-esque Fire Emblem Three Houses music. And Turtle King with the smile right now. Um, okay, <laughs> it's Triplats. Interesting choice. All right, so the good thing about this is that um, Joker will be able to get a lot of combo extensions. However, if we've been seeing, you know, Turtle King utilize that side B a lot more, and if he's able to get the callouts, you know, whether catching you slipping on the on the platform or on the ground, he's gonna just short hop a side B you most of the time and just catch on. Nice revenge right there, utilizing uh, that to his advantage right now, and hopefully can start building up this lead. Nice spacing though from Moon Lady. Yeah, definitely aware of the revenge built up there. Does not want to be a part of a perfect lariat at this percent because it has potential to kill depending on where it's able to land, especially at the ledge. Playing the corner game is a dangerous task to be asking for. But however, with Arsene on board, going to be able to barely just get escape Arsene right there is Turtle King. She had the right idea, but unfortunately just couldn't. Um, Turtle King drifting there. Could not get those hits to connect. We'll settle for that on stage, though. Gets Her the gimp! Oh, nice job with the Nair there. Uh, could not tech there. And just trying to extend the lead further with the down throw into up air setup. And just, you know, just choosing the right options at the right time now. Turtle King, however, will be losing that stock with 42% of extra credit. And Arsene will be coming out on the board real soon. Doing a really good job here, juggling the high above the stage. 
using that top platform to an extent from both sides. And, uh, oh, missed the Lariat. It will snap back, though. All right. Oh, nice. nice. Nice back throw. Arsene will be leaving us for now, but nice usage of the Rebel's Guard and still going to get punished through it. Turtle King one step ahead of Moon Lady as he had the call out right there, but didn't pull the full, the full trigger on it. There we go. Got the grapple going, but able to respond in kind with the up air. Her tech that time had plenty of uh, percent to work with. Up back, throw, uh, yeah. yeah. Breaking your back and sending you to the heavens in the process as Turtle King, one stock away from regaining the set lead. And you hear the crowd in the background. They are popping off. They want their boy Turtle King to make it all the way and hopefully can do so. Beautiful revenge. He's, the utilization of these revenges have been paying off for Turtle King and Arsene has not been a huge factor. Once again with the Nair, not, nothing else stuffed out. Really not enough job to there well. and not going to finish it, but the threat is there. Threat from both sides. Back throw, dead. Welcome to Suplex City, says Turtle King, as he takes game three, and now is one game away from top eight. <laughs> the, the early pop-off as uh, his boys are, are right around the corner, just yeah. uh, cheering him on, uh, trying to pump him up, pump him up. Yep, and rightfully so. One of the, the, the last chance coming, potentially the last chance coming up for one of Shenandoah's finest. All right. Smooch beating Unlucky in game five. will go on to place D3. Will Cheddar and Stever still going at it for I... 29 minutes. Well, it's... It's Samus. It's, it's Samus. Oh, no, Sever actually won. And Sever just won. Probably 3-2. Final yeah. announcing to <laughs> get to Sorge. Yep, 3-2. All right. So the Maryland, the Maryland kill on the one side. So top 12 has been finalized. And interesting from Moon Lady, who opts to go back to Battlefield. Now it's not a bad stage pick. No, However, it, it with benefits the benefits both sides. Yeah, how, with the way that things panned out in that game three, I, I don't know if it was the right stage choice, but she knows better than yeah. we do at this point. Yeah. And and to be f and to her credit, there were a couple of things that just like did not expect it and just luck was not on her side. Mainly uh, that first kill, like going down, and just that like huge nair, like being uh, forcing into the untackable. Mm -hmm. All right. So, patience here. Yeah, with our send out, you don't really want to risk it too much. And if you're able to find, if you're able to wait it out, especially like you see right there from Turtle King calling out the roll read right there, not enough to take the stock yet, but you know, just playing his game at his pace, and that's how you got to go about it, especially when you're playing a character like Incineroar. Yep. It's going to be important for Moonlight to be able to find a way, just as she, the one game she took, be Ooh. able to find an answer to mitigate all that damage coming out. There we go. Nice back air. Good punish right there. Catching the bit of end lag from that side B to get the punish and now put herself on the board as she wants to continue the lead, and she does so with a quick 45. Nice call out with the, with the uh, tried it with a down tilt there, but the... Uh, Tilt attack in kind from Turtle King. Takes the stock. Turtle King finding those openings that they need to right now. A quick 24 Ooh. and opting to, instead of going for the game, wants to build up that damage instead. Had the call out right there as Moon Lady just barely missing the hitbox of the sweet spot. Fortunate there to be the, the positive directions. The dot one to get sent off stage and out of the zone that early. <sighs> So much for a kill. Had oh it. my that gosh. Not quite enough. And now Arsene is off the board once again for Moon Lady, who is struggling to Ooh. stay in this. You just saw 20 down tilts come out, and you still let yourself get hit by the last one into the Lariat hitbox. The Alolan Whip, I'd say. Wait. Which, yep. Which is which? Uh, I, I always get too confused. Uh, Whip's neutral. Okay. Ariel's coming out here on a string, potentially last hope for Moon Lady. These normal getups have not been paying off so far for Moon Lady. Once again, gets hit with the side B, and now sitting at 94% and uh, almost gone. Our tilt is what? just a Tetra card what? time! Perfect timing right there for Moon Lady, who definitely wants to get away from that corner. She is one back throw away from death and does not want to play with that right now, as she has 
two stocks to work around to keep herself in this uh, set. Yep. Oh my gosh. Living for the moment on a prayer. Trying to get through, has another stock if she takes this to take care of. Nice Rebels guard. Yep. Needs to get it back though. Needs to take care of this stock. Very much a double set. Had that down smash. They both spot dodge. He's off. And the neutral gun. The very rare, like, spinning gun. Very hard to implement sometimes. <laughs> uh, uh. And the UME crew coming in and popping off, but credit to Moon Lady for an incredible run. Ninth place, nothing to scoff at. Mm -mm. Incredible upsets along the way, and somewhere on the other side of the Potomac, the Shenandoah Hive is very proud of wow. their lady. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, Moon Lady had a, an incredible run, 